Hello students, we will be studying counting ones in a window. In this topic, we will understand how it is difficult to calculate or the count the number of ones in a window. We will understand how we can calculate those ones in a window using DGIM algorithm. Counting which the problem is given a stream consists of zeros and ones. You will be surprising where zeros and ones is coming. The zeros are ones are coming from any streaming and real time systems where we get those bits. Let's take another example. There is a website on particular post people are liking and disliking. So in a streaming system, we cannot store all those zeros and ones, which is in real time, quite difficult. So how to tackle this problem? People may be asking such question, how many ones are there in the last k bits? Means k can be where k is less than equals to n. The solution is store the most recent n bits when new bit comes in, discard the n plus one first bit. Means Future bits are discarded. We will have window size n is equals to 6. You cannot get an exact answer without storing the entire window. That is the biggest problem. And what is the real problem? What if we cannot afford to store n bits? We are representing 1 billion streams and n is equals, that's why n is equals to 1 billion. We have so many bits. We cannot understand the bits from the future. Because bits are continuously coming, so we can calculate till this point. We cannot calculate which bits are coming. We, so it means the answer will be approximate. But we are happy with the approximate answers, not the exact one. So the, a beautiful method is created by these four scientists, Datar, Jinyoski, Indik and Motwani and known as DGM method. DGM is a solution that does not assume uniformity. We store, we store order of log square n bits per stream. Solution gives approximate answer never of more than 50%. So your approximate answer provides you 50% accuracy or more accuracy. Error factor can be reduced to any fraction greater than zero with more complicated algorithm proportionally more stored bits. DGM timestamp. Each bit in the stream has a timestamp starting with 1, 2 and till end. So it suppose of the at this particular time if data is coming we are keeping at a time stamp as 1 and the previous data which came value will be 2 so on left hand side with respect to time. Record timestamp modulo and the window size. We can represent any relevant timestamp. Order of log n to the base 2 bits. What are rules for forming the buckets? The right side of the bucket should always start with 1. So from the right side, the bucket will start with the 1. If it starts with 0, it is to be neglected because that is coming from future. For example, we have bits string that is a 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Bucket size of 4 having 4 ones. This is the size of bucket 4 which consists of number of ones will be 4. Starting with 1 on its right end. Yes, so on right end it should be always 1. Every bucket should have at least 1, 1 else no bucket cannot be formed. All buckets should be in the power of 2. For example, 2 raised to power 0, bucket size is 1. 2 raised to power 1, bucket size is 2. 2 raised to power 2, there is bucket size is 4. Then 8, then 16 and so on. The bucket cannot decrease in size as we move to the left. On right hand side it is decreasing, on left hand side it is always increasing. Let's see an example. Cut the selection of pin. Let's see example. We have a string 10, 110, 11, 
zero one 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 zero one one zero one one. So what we are creating? The first bead size bucket size will be one. Then bucket size is two. Then bucket size is two. Then bucket size is four. One again bucket size is four. So all buckets are in the power of two. Then zero came. No use. We will keep all buckets same. Then one came. As one came, we created a bucket size one, and other buckets are same. Then again one came. We created a bucket size one. Already there are two buckets of one is available with the size two buckets with the elements one in each. As per the DGIM algorithm, you cannot have more than two buckets with the same size. So size with the same size, you can have a bucket one or two. So as there are three buckets. With the same size, so we will be merging the historical two bucket. These are three and two. This is a historical bucket because this is a newly formed, the green one. So what we are going to do? We are going to merge these two, and we created it. So we call it as a blue one. As the blue one with the size two, the green one is again size two, and the yellow one is also size two. Again, the problem: the all buckets. In a stream, should not consist of more than two with the same size. So it is not allowed. Again, so we will merge the two historical one, this one and this one. The the blue one is recently created. Now after merging the the yellow and green into one, we create the red one. Again, we have Three buckets with the size four: the red one, the green one, the yellow one. Now, again, this time, as per the algorithm states, we will merge the two historical one. The yellow one and the green one are merged into blue one with the size eight. Now, at after this, we get the Size with the one, size with the two, size with the four, size with the eight, and we calculate the number of ones. Thank you.